Welcome back to Brick System Brothers. We've got another Pab Crawl video talking about the Arundel Mills. Arundel Mills. Um, I think this is in Connecticut somewhere. So another July purchase from my trip. Uh, just a small cup here and a few more pieces than the first one where we just had four unique uh, parts in there. So a few more in this one to look at. This blue cone, bottom and top, fill in those gaps, and then a bunch of stuff in between. And let's see here, we got, I think, eight different parts in the cup. So we'll open it up and count them. All right, job complete. And ended up with nine different part types, actually. The um, little wheel set, or uh, I don't know. It's like, it's a small set of wheels, but it's fixed, so it can't really rotate. Um, that was kind of mixed in there. I forgot about that on my little list. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty easy to add in. So, for the counts, the blue cone over here, 96 of those. The 1x1 one one white snot brick with one stud had 72 of those. The red 1x2 one double-sided snot brick, 21. Um, oh, yeah, there were also sand green 1x6 sand green bricks. But I already put those away with my other 1x6 sand green bricks because I bought a lot more of those back in February um, on the pad wall. So I did add a few more of those in, 11 more from this store, but nothing really compares with my first haul. Just wanted to grab a few more when I had the opportunity. Um, the 2x2 two two round jumper with that stud in the middle there in dark tan, I had 31 of those. This little 2x2 two two curved, I call it a fancy slope in pearl gold, 15. And then a couple of these bright light orange arches. The one style is the 1x4, kind of a continuous arch bow. The other style is also 1x4, but it's more of a single sided bow. Um, so I was able to pick up both of those styles right there on the wall, the same wall. And the continuous bow, double sided, 53 of these. And the single sided, there were 24. And uh, there were 26 of the little wheel set. So, altogether, 349 pieces. Um, this was priced at $9.53 at Arundel Mills. So, that works out to 2.7 cents per piece. Not bad value at all. I am going to put my little fancy slopes in the dedicated drawer I have on the main wall just because they're weren't a whole lot of these, and I still have plenty of room in this drawer. So um, the rest of these do get their own spot. I think I'll also put the cones on the main wall, but these elements, uh, enough of these to be considered in my PAB overflow stock room now. So I'll put those up on there. Oh, just something to mention with these pieces. I almost passed them by, but I think I ended up getting them because of this model that I built. Um, my Alco rebuild of the Hidden Side set, um, they came in really handy when I was putting the finishing touches, especially on the bonnet. So getting these curves and uh, the finishing right on this model came down to the use of these. Um, this piece in particular, and then I got these because I don't know when I'm going to see that many in that color again. And I do like that color. It's fun to build with bright light orange. So adding those in, Almost passed them by, but uh, at, you know, three cents a piece, might as well go ahead and grab them. All right, that is it for this addition to the Pab Crawl video series. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you in the next one.